what are the decision making elements just like a children just you think about like a bachcha means 5w 5w everybody we know who which what how when based on that only you have to make the model of decision making if you are thinking all these management topics are very high five no this is not high five thinking wise it is very fundamental but analysis wise very high this is only difference why cat is different why cat is very tough why cat cat is designated as one of the toughest exam in the world it is asking very high level of questions or it is asking very high level of concept no it is asking a hardly 10 10th or 11th level 11th level of questions that everybody has crossed during your graduation process but logically or analytically it is very high level they will ask 8th level of math but analytically it will be so high level you can feel it is not 8th level or 9th level then basically it is a fundamental thing but analyze analysis wise it will be very high level similar way here if you, uh, you will discuss about the elements of decision making this is fundamental bachcha type what who how when where all these things only we have but afterwards we have to very carefully decide what means what are the factors who who are going to affect how they are going to affect when it may happen then decision making elements you you can say it is a just very fundamental process now we'll come to the skill what are the skill you must have to arrive on certain decision or you can say good decision maker generally we like our nation should be in the hand of good decision maker or generally it is a very you, actually anyone can be decision maker good or bad after decision only we can stamp it we can't stamp before making decision it is a good decision or it is a bad decision he is a good decision maker no first thing is there you must be a decision maker you take decision slowly slowly you will start to take good decision but in in the stage of fear you are not taking decision you will never become good decision maker or whatever decision you taken you put your full energy to back it up to back it up and make it as a good decision then what are the tools or the skills you need one of the main skill is critical thinking and based on that one of the topic in your vr verbal reasoning that is called critical reasoning and now you can understand how much critical reasoning is important for your verbal reasoning then decision making process how it can affect your verbal reasoning and understanding this chapter can add on value for your cat preparation thinking problem solving leadership etc 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 we can summarize in this figure this image this is your critical thinking i for my point of view it is most you can say most important because once you are not able to think critically it will create so many level of confusion you will not able to use your analytical skill you will not able to use your problem solving skill leadership will become useless interpersonal skill will become uh, you can say no use management will not help you team collaboration will also suspicious then one of the manager or c band officer what you are aspire to become after mba maybe ceo coo you know now new designation are coming like a chief digital officers cgo like that uh, then critical thinking is your one of the most most required skill or you can say compulsory skill you can't say it is a optional compulsory then only you will able to do all these things in better way okay then these all skill you must have problem solving critical thinking logical analytical thinking listening effectively this is another aspect of another aspect of decision making if you are bad listener you will not able to understand all the aspect and our all shastras also used to tell all veda shastra we must listen more than we speak we should have the listening capacity and if you don't know i am just telling you 
for that sake only our ganpati ji ear are very big because we should listen more then listening effectively is another aspect of good leadership generally one of the you can say misnomer leadership means you are a good speaker that is required but to, to sustain in leadership or grow in leadership you must be a effective listener your speaking may be 5% 95% listening then only you will sustain in your leadership or any of the stage it is difficult if you are not a good listener interpersonal skill time management team collaboration all these things you must develop